uh, for each of you. How does it feel to win a Grand Slam together? Well, it feels amazing. Uh, a Grand Slam is a Grand Slam. Uh, that's why we, we practice. That's why we play. Uh, for us, uh, amazing. We had a little bit of a uh, rough beginning of the year, tennis-wise. Uh, some injuries, some tough losses, and then uh, it's crazy world. But to get back uh, straight on uh, and win a Grand Slam, it, it feels pretty good now. Uh, we put in a lot of work uh, last week. We lost first round. Uh, I was coming from uh, some tough uh, 15 days of having uh, Corona, so I didn't get much practice before coming here. Or I wasted my practice <laughs> for the last 15 days. So it was good that uh, we could put a lot of work before this slam. And, Pretty special to, to have this trophy with us now. Mate? Same question? Or? And same yeah. for you, Mate. Yeah, like, like Bruno said, yeah. Grand Slam is a Grand Slam. It's always a special feeling. Uh, to be honest, it does feel a bit strange uh, because of the circumstances. Uh, but still, we had a, we had a very tough tournament. Uh, very tough five matches. We got back from uh, uh, tough first two rounds. You know, we were down a break in the third. The opponents were serving for the match second round. So we got back from all of those situations, building a uh, building confidence throughout the matches, playing better and better. And now we're, we're here with the title. So we are extremely happy. Another Grand Slam title. And we're now looking forward already to, to Europe next tournament. Bruno, when you guys got together last summer, did you expect this to happen so quickly within a year? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I thought we, we could play really well together. Uh, I was very happy when we, when we partnered. Uh, but it was a long road. Uh, we had some very tough losses. I felt like... For a long period of time, uh, I thought we were playing uh, very good tennis and we just couldn't get a couple wins uh, in a row. And uh, by the end of the year, when we, when we had our first uh, great week win in Shanghai, unfortunately, Mate got injured the week after, so we couldn't really keep the momentum. Uh, and same thing the beginning of the year, a bit unlucky with injuries and a couple of losses. But I always believed in the team. Uh, you could see, like, we... The matches that we're, we're connecting and playing well, uh, we know that we can beat anyone. And I think this is the only thing you got to, uh, it's the feeling you got to have. You know, you got to believe that if you're playing well, you can win any, any tournament, you can beat any team. And that's what happened this week. Uh, you know, it was, was a very tough draw. Uh, we missed being seated for one spot, ended up playing a, a great team that was runner up last year. And I mean, five very tough matches. So I think this is proof that you know, being patient and, and working hard, it paid off for us. And Mate, as you guys sort of got into the match, it seemed towards the end of the first set, you guys were returning a little bit better than them. You had more chances. How did you see it tactically? Uh, well, to be honest, um, I think we played uh, much better. The, the four matches before this, I think they did too. Uh, I would not say that the quality of tennis was was extremely well, maybe because of uh, you know we were all in the final, maybe feeling the pressure a little bit. But uh, I think that tactically they played well. Also, we played also well. So it was tough for everybody, you know, to to return well. And so, so um, I think, like you said, by by end of the set we started returning better. We we had a couple of break points before the break. And then we played a good, good return game, you know, on 6-5. So, uh, you know, serving well throughout the match. We we're holding ourselves pretty easy. So I think in the end, you know, we, we managed to, to keep the quality of the game. One more, Andrew, and then we'll go to Ben. Sure. And then just now you have to turn around. You have to go to a Masters 1000 that starts pretty quickly. Um, I guess one of you guys flying out, and what is it going to be like to keep the high of winning the Grand Slam, but then getting ready for another big tournament? Yeah, uh, we're both flying out tomorrow. 
We're ready to roam. Uh, not much time to celebrate now. We're going to have to hold the celebration for uh, when we have a couple of days off. Uh, it's tough getting there. We got to do all the protocol, uh, got to get tested, stay in the room, all those things that it's uh, quite new now in, in these tournaments. So, and switch from hard to, to clay. But I think it's just using the energy, using the momentum, using the, all the, the vibe that we, that we bring from this event and, and taking it there. But I mean, not going to be seated, probably going to have another very tough draw and uh, going to start have to, to, to dig in deep. The moment you, you arrive in Rome, everyone forgets and uh, it's, a new, it's a new week. So not much time to celebrate, put in the work again and uh, hopefully we, we get some time to celebrate uh, after. Thank you, Andrew. Let's go to Ben from the New York Times. Ben, you are live. Hey, guys. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Bruno, I hadn't heard about you having uh, coronavirus. What was what was your experience like with that, and how much did it affect you physically? Yeah, I didn't I didn't post it or anything. I kept to myself. Uh, it was it was all right. Uh, I didn't have anything. I had a blocked nose one day when I was was back in Bello. And uh, I was feeling a little bit weak, decided to get tested. I, I was getting tested anyways, twice a week, uh, the month before coming here. Uh, I tested positive, uh, isolated myself, 14, 15 days isolated, nothing, no symptoms. So just basically waiting for a negative test to come. Uh, got lucky, uh, got it right after uh, 14 days. But uh, the one thing, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't tough on me, but the one thing that was tough is, you know, 14 days without doing anything, and then you just come straight here. You know, the air is not really there, the conditions. So it took me a while. Uh, even though I thought uh, we, I played a decent match in Cincy, but towards the second set, I started feeling like it was, was tough to breathe and, and things like this. But I was just very happy, to, to be honest, to be playing here because after all the preparation and everything that I did to miss because of one or two days, uh, it was going to be tough. But luckily, everything went well. I didn't have anything, so it was, it was, it was quite uh, okay on me to have it. And, and I mean, just a little bit of the, the peace of mind that you don't really have to worry about walking around, and I think this is pretty good. And then for both of you, you both played in Grand Slam finals before. Did this feel like a Grand Slam final today, or did it feel like something totally different? Uh, well, f I'll go because I'm here. Uh, for me, it felt, uh, you, you could see it's, the thing is, it's an interesting feeling, uh, not the final, just the whole thing. It's, it's a different feeling, but at least for me, w when I got out there and just the, the vibe back home, the tension, the media, you know, my friends, everyone around, you could see it's a, it's a special moment. It's a grand slam. So for me, it actually felt the same, uh, like walking on court, I had the same goosebumps, to be in the Grand Slam final again, winning, same feeling. So, I mean, it's strange situations, but, you know, trophy is the same. Uh, Grand Slam title, uh, this is going to be with us forever. So, it, for me, it's, it's the same feeling. Mate, how about for you? Yeah, I mean, like, like he said, uh, it's a bit strange feeling, you know. Uh, you don't play with the crowd. Uh, nobody played in six months prior to this, but uh, I mean, uh, we had five tough matches. I think we even had tougher matches than we usually do on a normal Grand Slam with a bigger draw, because sometimes the draw opens, you know, favorite lose or whatever. So it was just eight seeded teams here. So from the beginning, we had, you know, extremely tough matches. So, I mean, Grand Slam is a Grand Slam and uh, we had to work hard for, for this one. And then last thing for me, what do, what do you think of the of the plans for the French Open to have fans on site, which will be very different from from here? Well, I mean, I think if they manage to have uh, them away from the players, uh, they said uh, they're going to have three zones and, and, and things like this. So I'm assuming the fans are going to go straight to, you know, court or it's going to be separated from the players. I don't see it as, as a problem as long as they can manage to have players far from the, from the fans. Um, I mean, I think when we're playing, it, it's all right. You know, uh, I mean, here, if you look around outside courts, there's always some people there 
uh, watching other players, you know, people that work here. You know, there's always someone around there. So I don't think you really increase the risk if you manage to keep people away. Uh, but, I mean, this year everything is new, so it's, it's tough to say. Uh, I mean, they're working with the health uh, department, so I'm assuming they're going to do all the protocols that they believe is going to be the safest to, to run the van. And for us, it's just going there and trying to be safe again. Hey, Malte, same question to you. What do you think? Would you feel safe at the tournament with thousands of people there? Well, yeah, uh, I feel safe. I think they're going to... I mean, I hope so. I think they're going to do a good job. Like Bruno said, they're going to put, you know, certain zones and then uh, keep the fans away from the players. And I think it's not a bad, I think it's not a bad idea or a bad thing to have some fans on the side. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, limited. I don't know what's the number exactly, but I think, I hope so. And I think everything is going to work well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.